going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be discussing nine signs that you may be deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is one of the most abundant minerals in the human body. It's responsible for over 300 enzymatic reactions. It's important for both protein and nerve synthesis, also important for, for energy production, bone strength, and the production of DNA and RNA. Um, it's found primarily in green leafy vegetables. So if you have a diet low in vegetables, you might be low in magnesium. Also, if you take medications such as acid reducers, uh, such as ranitidine, pepsid, uh, perhaps even a proton pump inhibitor such as omeprazole and Prilosec, you may be low in magnesium. In addition, many diuretic medicines. Uh, these are medicines that are frequently used for either blood pressure control or to help um, get rid of additional fluid that you might have, um, such as uh, swelling in your feet. And these medications include spironolactone, also known as aldactone, hydrochlorothiazide, Lasix, also known as furosemide. So again, these medications are notorious for not only lowering your cal or not only lowering your potassium level, but also lowering your magnesium level. So signs and symptoms that you may be magnesium deficient. One of the first and most common one are eye twitches, right? So where the eyelid literally will start to flutter at times. And if this happens to you, you probably are deficient in magnesium. A second one is leg cramps. This is probably one of the most common reasons people come into my office to see me, or at least uh, quite frequently. Uh, every day I have patients complaining of cramps. It can occur during the day, it can occur at nighttime. Uh, many things can do this, including dehydration and low uh, potassium. However, a low magnesium is also a common reason that this occurs. And I've had many, many patients, once they start taking magnesium as a supplement, that they notice a significant uh, reduction in nocturnal leg cramps. A, another cause of, um, or another symptom of a low magnesium level might be heart palpitations. You might be feeling your heart fluttering, perhaps skipping a beat, and uh, this can be caused by low magnesium levels. If you constantly are feeling a um, heart palpitations, make sure you get checked out by a cardiologist. Sometimes it can be indicative of more um, serious things going on like atrial fibrillation. Menstrual cramps. So a lot of times uh, women, you know, some women during their periods will have real severe menstrual cramps. This can frequently uh, make life miserable. They may have to call out from work or maybe laid up in bed for a couple of days because of the severity of the menstrual cramps. You may even be craving chocolate, right? Chocolate usually in its natural form will have magnesium. So again, if you crave chocolate, you probably have a magnesium deficiency and you're going to want to make sure you're getting it either through a, um, through, uh, vegetables or uh, perhaps simply eating some more chocolate. Although probably not a good idea due to the high sugar amount, especially in the milk chocolate. Uh, so again, a magnesium supplement may be a good idea either uh, prior to your, uh, your menstrual cycle or simply taking it all month long. Uh, another sign of magnesium deficiency is an overactive bladder. I have many, you know, I kind of came across this one over the years when I had patients coming in uh, complaining of the leg cramps. This was the reason I was, I would frequently use magnesium and they would come back and, and report to me that their bladder issues seemed to have improved. In several cases, patients were telling me that the magnesium seemed to help their urinary frequency and their overactive bladder more than the, um, than the uh, prescription medication did. So we were able to actually stop prescription medication. And, uh, and this makes sense when you think about the fact that uh, one's bladder is a muscle and the muscle is constantly in a uh, contractile, uh, contractile state. So when the bladder is contracted, uh, and has, a person has a sensation that the bladder is full, they're gonna have to urinate more frequently. Once you relax the bladder, uh, the bladder will not feel as if it's full and uh, one can go longer periods between uh, urination. So again, overactive bladder, this may be something uh, that you may wanna consider. Um, constipation, right? So people will frequently take calcium supplements. These can cause constipation. And if you're not getting enough magnesium, then again, a magnesium deficiency may present as constipation. Now, again, obviously there are many things that can cause constipation. Low magnesium is simply one of them. As a matter of fact, that's why we will use things like milk of magnesia, which is literally a liquid form of magnesium uh, to help one uh, have a more regular bowel movements. 
Uh, this is also for those who um, are on medications such as narco um, opiates or narcotics such as hydrocodone and Percocet, also known as oxycodone. You may find that magnesium or magnesium supplement may help you um, with any constipation symptoms. How about tension headaches, right? These are the headaches that one will feel in the back of their neck, uh, constantly can um, occur during times of stress, hence the word tension headache. And again, these neck muscles will contract when one is low in magnesium. And I've had many patients who get chronic tension headaches and once they start a magnesium uh, supplementation or simply increasing magnesium in their diet, they notice that their tension headaches actually improve. Migraine headaches is another real common um, cause um, or common symptom of magnesium deficiency. I've had dozens and dozens of patients over the years who have chronic migraine headaches associated with auras and nausea and vomiting. When we put them on a uh, magnesium supplementation regimen, they actually tend to do better and the migraine frequency reduces significantly. I've had patients who would go from having one to two migraines per week to one to two migraines per year simply by optimizing their magnesium level. And last but not least is esophageal spasms. The esophagus sits right behind the heart. As a hospitalist, I frequently admit patients for chest pain and they typically will undergo the, the routine workup of a nuclear test and, uh, and or a stress test to evaluate for clogged arteries. One of the things that I've noticed over the years is that patients who are on either diuretics or proton pump inhibitors tended to have more uh, negative stress test, uh, which indicates basically that the pain that they were feeling behind the heart was not their heart, but more of a, um, a squeezing sensation and the esophagus sits right behind, behind the heart. So again, patients who are, um, you know, having spasming of this, uh, of the esophagus right behind the heart will frequently have the pain go to their jaw or even to the left arm, prompting concern. And subsequently, they end up going to the emergency room for an evaluation. So I hope you find this helpful. Again, these are all signs and symptoms of a low magnesium level, probably one of the most common deficiencies out there, second only to a vitamin D deficiency. And there's a couple different ways you can, again, get magnesium. One is through uh, vegetables, uh, green leafy vegetables, nuts and seeds. Almonds tend to have high levels of magnesium. Also, you can do a magnesium supplement. These come in different formats. One is known as magnesium oxide, uh, which is, tends to be the cheaper one and the ones that doctors will prescribe. I have a problem with this one, however, as it, only about 4% of this is absorbed and it tends to cause a little bit more loose stool. The other alternative is what we call a magnesium chelate. Uh, chelate is a C-H-E-L-A-T-E, -E, and this is a magnesium that is chelated or bound to an amino acid, and this helps to improve absorption. While you may pay a little bit more for this form, it's better absorbed, and in my experience, the magnesium chelate, again, can be a, a magnesium citrate, magnesium malate, magnesium fumarate, uh, to name a few. From my uh, experience with patients, that when patients take this form of magnesium, they tend to have less signs and symptoms of a magnesium deficiency. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Please leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, you, uh, I've been, uh, also you can uh, listen to some of my podcasts in which I discuss uh, different health topics that may not be on my YouTube channel. You can search either Heal Thyself, uh, Apple Podcasts, or search for Eric Madrid uh, on what, uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, or whatever uh, platform you use to listen to podcasts. Thank you, God bless, and have a great day.